Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel and we are back at our rooftop just to check some of our succulents that were damaged yesterday by the birds and just this morning I have found out that more succulents were actually damaged so I have here an example so this one is a uh, propagation and look at that all of the leaves have fallen and it's really something that we cannot avoid especially if the birds just keep on coming here at our rooftop every day and we're not just talking about five birds or ten birds i mean a lot of birds and we also have here our chiveria linardine i'm still trying to treat the fungus on its leaves and so i place it under our succulent table but still it was uprooted by the birds and it happened several times already in the past three weeks so that is what's going on at our succulent greenhouse as of the moment and it's something that we need to avoid from happening again and again and so yesterday i was actually reading some of your comments and there's a lot of suggestions that could help us solve the problem so a lot of you have mentioned about the rice hull that i used in my potting mix and i think that's really the main reason why the birds are attracted to our succulent greenhouse it looks like a food for them and so they just keep on coming as of now i'm still considering whether or not i would change my potting mix but first i will try some of your suggestions if it actually works then i don't need to change our current potting mix so some of you suggested to add some sticks in our pot so i'm not really sure how many sticks should i put or how long should the sticks should be but i don't feel like adding these sticks in our succulent pots as i don't really find it to be pleasing to the eye so another suggestion that i have read was all about adding a top dressing to our succulent so it's all about adding a pumice stone or anything that could possibly cover our potting mix with rice hull. So if we're going to be covering it, then the birds could possibly not visit our greenhouse anymore. So I have here an example. So this one is our Echeveria cat's claw. And this is the only succulent that I have wherein I have actually added some lava rocks on top of our potting mix i actually added this one about a year ago and it's something that we could also consider in the next coming days to come if the birds would still continue to come in our succulent greenhouse but the disadvantage of adding these pumice stones or lava racks on top of our potting mix is that it actually makes our pot heavier and that's really something that I'm trying to avoid, especially that most of our succulents are on this table. And I'm not really sure if this table is durable enough to carry all of these pots. Originally, we are using a mix of Alnos Compose and pumice stones for our potting mix. But three weeks ago, I decided to change the pumice stones into rice hull just to make it a bit lighter but immediately after adding rice hull in our potting mix the birds started to come in and so that is where the problem started a lot of you suggested for us to add net around our succulent greenhouse and that would surely keep the birds from coming in unfortunately i wanted our rooftop or our succulent greenhouse to be as open as possible and since i am someone who loves to keep on changing the setup of our succulents adding a net around our succulent greenhouse is not really a good idea some of you have suggested for me to add some scarecrow but yeah i'm not really sure if i can make one another one or another suggestion was adding any reflective material in our greenhouse so for example we have cds but i don't have any cds right now so what i did was actually try to search something that i can buy online and this is what i saw so i think this would literally scare the birds away but i'm not gonna be buying that one but instead i found this one it says it's a rotating scare rod reflective spiral deterrent control device so definitely we don't need batteries for these I wanted to know how it actually works and good thing that they have added something in their description. It says, The sun shines dazzlingly to achieve the effect of driving away birds but it does not kill or catch birds. 
So this can be hung directly on the balcony, fruit tree yard, eaves, garden, vegetable garden, wherever you want to keep birds away from you. So I decided to purchase this item and I really hope that it would help us scare the birds away. And in the next coming days, I will just be giving you another update after setting up those reflective rods. And anyway, I won't be touching anything yet. I'll just start to clean up the mess after we have set up the reflective rod. So that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You may also visit our Facebook page at Desert Succulent PH.